Hello everyone, myself Sneha Patil, Assistant Professor from Department of Pharmacognosy, Kaley College of Pharmacy. Today we'll discuss about the natural sources of hematonics. What are the importance of these hematonics and what are the various uh, resources of, for the hematonics? So before starting with this hematonics, we should know about the anemia. So where these hematonics actually needed, which condition these are needed, that is a anemia. Anemia is a condition where decreased RBC production, then that will lead to a reduced oxygen supply to organs, then that will decrease the immunity. That decreased immunity will more prone for the infectious diseases like coronavirus. So nowadays everyone is um, suffering from the corona infections. So not only this corona infection, various infections uh, attack human body when he is an animal. So it is very important to go for the hematonics. So let's start with the introduction. Hematonics are the agents that stimulates the production of RBCs or increase the amount of hemoglobin in the blood. Thus, these are used in the treatment of anemia. Anemia is a most common blood disorder characterized by decreasing total amount of RBCs or hemoglobin in the blood or a lowered ability of the blood to carry oxygen. The normal hemoglobin content is 14 to 16 gram per deciliter for female uh, and 12 to 14 gram per deciliter for females. Then how this blood is formed in our body? That is, the RBCs are formed in the uh, red bone marrow of the bones. The body makes about 2 million RBCs every second. Blood consists of 45% RBCs less than 1% WBCs, platelets, and 55% of the plasma. So RBCs are an important element of the blood. And their main job is to transport oxygen to the body's tissues in exchange for carbon dioxide, which is carried to and eliminated by the lungs. So blood play an important role. Thus, it is very important to maintain the RBCs. Then anemia is a serious global public health problem that particularly affects in children and pregnant women. WHO estimates that 42% of children less than five years of age and 40% of pregnant women worldwide are anemic. Globally, anemia affects 1.62 billion people, which corresponds to 24.8% of the population. Then what are the causes of this anemia? Uh, improper diet, blood loss, inherited conditions, impaired RBC production, then some kidney diseases. What are the symptoms of this anemia is like uh, fatigue, weakness, pale or yellow skin, irregular heartbeat, shortness of the breath, dizziness, chest pain, cold hands and feet, headache, then ringing in ears. If the person suffering from these symptoms, then he may be a anemic. Then what are the complications? If the symptoms are seen, then the person uh, neglect those symptoms, then that will definitely lead to a complications like severe fatigue. Uh, fatigue like uh, severe anemia can make you so tired so that you can't complete your everyday task. Then pregnancy, pregnancy complications like pregnant woman with folate deficiency anemia may more uh, likely to have complications such as premature birth, then some heart problems like anemia can lead to rapid or irregular heart uh, beat like arrhythmia. When you are uh, anemic, your heart must pump more blood to make for the lack of oxygen in the blood. This can lead to enlargement of the heart and that will lead to a heart failure. Then uh, definitely a death, some inherited anemia such as sickle cell anemia can lead to life-threatening complications. Losing a lot of blood quickly results in acute or severe anemia and can be a then some different types of anemia we have that is iron deficiency anemia, vitamin deficiency anemia, anemia of inflammation, aplastic anemia, hemolytic anemia and sickle cell anemia. These are the types of anemia. Iron deficiency anemia deals with, uh, it is the most common type of anemia, iron in the body. So bone marrow needs iron to make hemoglobin without adequate iron uh, in body. Uh, it can't produce enough hemoglobin for RBCs. This type of anemia occurs in many pregnant women 
it is also caused by blood loss due to heavy menstrual bleeding in a woman then vitamin deficiency anemia uh, beside iron body needs some vitamin b12 that is cobalamin to produce enough uh, healthy rbcs deficiency of this vitamin cause uh, decreased rbc production also some people who consume enough vitamin b12 aren't able to absorb some that vitamin so this can lead to vitamin deficiency anemia and also known as perinicious uh, perinicious anemia anemia of inflammation certain diseases such as cancer rheumatoid arthritis hiv kidney diseases and other acute or chronic inflammatory diseases can interfere with the production of rbcs then aplastic anemia it is a rare type of life threatening anemia which occurs when a body doesn't produce enough rbcs cause of aplastic anemia include some infections certain medicines autoimmune diseases and exposure to some toxic chemicals then hemolytic anemia hemolytic means breakdown of rbcs this group of anemia develops when rbcs are in, uh, are destroyed faster than the uh, production of the rbcs in a bone marrow certain blood diseases increase rbcs and uh, cell destruction then we have a sickle cell anemia this inherited uh, and sometimes serious condition is caused by defective form of the hemoglobin that forces rbcs uh, cells to assume an abnormal crescent shape or a sickle shape for that it is called as sickle cell anemia uh, this irregular blood cell die uh, prematurely resulting in a chronic shortage of a rbcs so we have some important hematemic or uh, supplements what we can call to treat all about the uh, anemia that is iron is a important then vitamin b12 and folic acid so these are the supplements therapeutic use of this iron preparation is uh, treatment of iron deficiency anemia pregnancy and lactation and for infant growth for professional blood donors uh, this iron uh, supplements are very important then uh, the average daily intake is 11.5 to 13.7 mg per day in children aged 2 to 11 years then 15.1 mg per day in teenage that is 12 to 19 years 16.3 to 18.2 mg per day in a man 12.6 to 13.5 mg per day in a woman then 40.7 uh, mg per day in a pregnant woman so here we have some selected food sources for the iron supplement rather than uh, taking some uh, synthetic supplements it is better if we develop a habit of having a proper diet which contains iron that will definitely improve our immunity so iron contained foods we have uh, that various cereals or grains we can call it as and uh, spinach palak tomato then chicken broccoli milk mushroom cheese so these are the food if you uh, consume this uh, in your daily life uh, it will improve your rbc production um, by increasing the iron content and definitely that will improve your immunity and we have uh, vitamin b12 that is uh, main therapeutic ways uh, use of this vitamin b12 is uh, treatment of megaloblastic anemia in treatment of alzheimer diseases immune booster it slow down the aging to boost mood and mental function the average daily intake is about 1.8 micrograms per day in children 2.4 micrograms per day in adult 2.6 micrograms per day in pregnant woman and 2.8 micrograms per day in breastfeeding woman then here are the foods like carrot sweet potato papaya apricot mango capsicum egg and fish these are the uh, food or diet what we can call as which will improve our vitamin b2 uh, b12 intake along with that production of the rbcs then we have folic acid preparations like megaloblastic anemia uh, as supplement during pregnancy then mal uh, malabsorption syndromes uh, antileptic uh, therapy then uh, the average daily intake it is around 150 micrograms per day for 1 to 3 years in children and 200 micrograms per day for 4 to 8 years children 400 to 800 micrograms per day for pregnant woman so the food sources like leafy all the leafy vegetables having this folic acid beans then whole grains or fresh juices and some sunflower seeds and all the seafoods contain the folic acid 
so always it is better if we choose or if we improve our uh, diet rather than going for the synthetic yeah definitely when the person is geriatric or uh, he, if his body is not responding for daily diet then he can go for the treatment but if he improve uh, his uh, daily intake as a diet of rich source of these vitamins and other supplements then definitely his blood improve and uh, uh, he going to improve his immunity and he is less prone to infections so we have some home remedies for uh, treating the anemia like uh, increase the vitamin c con uh, content as a uh, Uh, anemia tends to weaken your immune system and thus you may be more prone for the infections and inflammatory uh, diseases adequate doses of vitamin c can help to improve immunity and at the same time it also helps to absorb the iron so one can have a glass of lemon water every day that will uh, automatically improve your uh, immunity as well as uh, uh, absorption of iron content is increased by this vitamin c then we have yogurt with turmeric as per ayurvedic remedy uh, those suffering from the anemia should have a cup of yogurt twice a day morning and afternoon with a teaspoon full of turmeric as you all know that uh, turmeric is antiseptic definitely it will stop some infections uh, and it will fight against the infections so it is better if we have a cup of uh, yogurt or curd we can call as uh, with turmeric that will boost our immune system then sesame seeds uh, eating sesame seed in another great way of increasing our iron intake uh, because these sesame seeds are available in white and black or uh, these all of you know that so it is having some iron in uh, content more iron content especially black sesame seeds having the more iron content uh, you can soak these seeds in some water for 2 to 3 hours uh, and then you can uh, paste it and have with uh, some honey or jaggery you can have it then uh, drink up Uh, some fresh beetroot and pomegranate juices which acts as a great blood builders and also blood purifiers beetroots are rich in folic acid uh, pomegranates are rich in iron and also other minerals like copper and potassium both these juices if had regularly can boost your energy levels by supporting healthy blood flow and make you feel more active then uh, copper water uh, uh, if we store a water for uh, overnight in a copper vessels and we drink up with uh, in the uh, next day morning that will uh, increase our mineral content and uh, replenish our body and it also treats a hair loss so it is a best way if we drink our water in a cup from the copper vessels and uh, some resins and dates uh, these dry fruits offer a combination of iron and vitamin c Uh, eat a handful of raisins uh, and one or two dates for breakfast or as a uh, mid meal snacks they are also known to give you a instant energy thank you